Well, life insurance and life assurance are very similar, but there is one key difference. Life insurance is generally known as a term policy, which means when you're taking out the insurance with us, you choose how long you want that policy to run for. It could be 5, 10, 15, 20 years, whatever your needs are. Life assurance is a, a policy that has an open-ended uh, contract, so there's no term on it. So mortgage protection is probably the most basic type of uh, insurance that we offer. It's generally taken out in line with a loan repayment uh, and is assigned to your lender so that in the event of your death during the period of time that you're repaying your loan, the loan amount will generally be paid back in full. So life insurance is generally taken out for family protection to ensure that if you or your spouse dies during the term of the policy that there are sufficient funds there to ensure that the family is not at a financial loss. One of the benefits of this contract type is that it is uh, paid as a lump sum and Aviva has the longest term policy in the market and is insured up to age 90. So specified illness is another type of contract that Aviva offers and it pays out a lump sum in the event that you're diagnosed with one of the specified conditions covered in the policy and those type of conditions are cancer, stroke, heart, heart attack, uh, the very serious conditions that can really impact on the family life. So income protection is a different type of contract that Aviva offers and this pays a replacement of your income if you're unable to work due to disability or disease or something that precludes you from working in your normal occupation. It's payable on a monthly basis and it's generally payable up to your normal retirement age up to the time that you're able to return to work when the condition has been resolved. Well, all four types of contracts are important in their own right, so it does depend on your needs and the needs with your, in your own family situation. So we would always recommend that you speak to your financial advisor to ensure you get the best advice to decide what's relevant for you. So there are several factors that uh, impact the price of insurance, one of which is your age. So generally the younger you are when you take out an insurance policy, the cheaper it is. But how much you need will vary during your lifetime. So as a younger person you may not need so much, but as your needs change you may need to increase. So we'd always suggest that you speak to your financial advisor to ensure your needs are kept up to date. The main benefit that we would see is that it offers security for you and your family in the event of the worst case scenario happening. But one of the other benefits with Aviva is that we offer exclusive access to Best Doctors, which is a second medical opinion service that entitles you to access to over 50,000 doctors worldwide, and it's available from day one of the policy starting. So lots of people have mortgage protection and think that they're fully covered, but in the event of a claim being made on that mortgage protection policy, it pays off your mortgage and is paid to a lender. So then you have to think what happens to your own family in the event of your death, what other funds are available to them, and that's where other term insurance becomes really, really useful. The benefit of that is it's a lump sum payable to your next of kin, and it means that they can continue with their lives unfortunately after the worst event has happened for them, but things like childcare, other loans, other expenses are going to be covered. Just because you have your lending with a particular provider doesn't mean that you need to take your mortgage protection policy out with them. You may want to have all your insurance products with one provider. That means it's a simple process for you, one debit to pay the premiums and only one company that you need to contact if you have any queries. Just because you don't have dependents such as a spouse or children doesn't mean you shouldn't have some element of life insurance. First of all, we'd always recommend that you have a mortgage protection policy to cover your loan. But apart from that, you may have other expenses or debts such as credit card debt, car loans, and also think about the cost of funerals. What you don't want is that your family members in the time of their grief are having to take out loans to pay those things off. So dual life and joint life are two separate 
outcomes for insurance policy. A joint life policy will pay out once. So as once one person dies, the payment is made as a lump sum and the policy will cease. A dual life policy is slightly different to a joint life policy. A dual life policy will cover both people for a lump sum, maybe 100,000, maybe 500,000, whatever it is that you feel is needed for your family protection. In the event of death of one person, a lump sum payment is made, but the policy will continue on the second person until their death or until the term of the policy has ceased. So a savings contract and life insurance are completely separate and will depend on your circumstances. A savings contract will always depend on how much you're investing and how the investment and markets are going at any particular point in time. So you don't actually know until the end of the policy what your funds are going to be from that. A policy for life insurance will pay you a lump sum benefit in the event of your death and you'll know from outset exactly how much you're entitled to under that policy. It's easy to think that serious illness only occurs to those who are older or haven't been in good health to start with, but uh, unfortunately in Aviva our experience shows that these kind of conditions do happen and occur with younger lives. And in fact, for Aviva, the average age of the breast cancer claims that we pay is just 42. Well, health insurance and specified illness are completely separate contracts. A health insurance policy will pay your uh, medical provider, such as your doctor or your hospital, it'll pay their fees and their costs, but you actually don't receive anything from your health insurance policy. Specified illness will pay you a lump sum benefit in the event that you're diagnosed with one of the conditions that are covered, and it means that you're then able to use those funds to do what you want with that money. It may mean having to take some time out and take a holiday to recover from an illness or it might even allow you to make the necessary changes to your home environment. So in Aviva we offer two types of contracts under our specified illness product. The first one we call standalone insurance which will pay out a lump sum in the event that you're diagnosed with one of the specified illnesses covered under our product. Once that payment is made the policy will cease so we call this standalone. The other option in Aviva is a benefit known as accelerated cover and this is a combination of both specified illness and life cover. So in the event that you're diagnosed with one of the specified illnesses we'll make a payment on that basis but unfortunately if you die before that condition has been diagnosed we will also pay out a lump sum benefit. So we pay one or the other contract and that's what we call accelerated cover. So in Aviva we offer a contract known as income protection and this does what it says in the event that you're unable to work due to a disease or a disability then we will pay you your income for the period of time that you're unable to work. We don't pay the full amount of your income, we pay 75% of your income less any social welfare entitlement that you may have and there's also options around how long a deferred period that you may have on the contract. A deferred period applies on these contracts that means that the payment will not be made on day one of your illness. It may be paid out after a deferred period of four weeks, eight weeks, 13 weeks, 26 weeks or 52 weeks. And you choose which deferred period you want when the application has been sent to us originally. Obviously, the shorter deferred period, the premiums will be different. So you need to think about what's appropriate for you. Uh, you may actually have insurance with your uh, employer that will entitle you to some payments, or you may not have any cover at all. So you need to think about what works for you. And we would always suggest that you speak to your financial advisor when considering income protection cover. Income protection will cover up to 75% of your salary, less any social welfare entitlement that you may have. So if your uh, salary is 100,000, 75% less any social welfare entitlement. But you choose how much of that you want to cover. You could choose to cover 50%, 60%, 75%. And again, it's up to uh, the discussions that you'll have with your financial advisor how to decide which amount best suits you. The minimum amount of cover that Aviva will offer is 12,000 per annum, and the maximum amount is 200,000 per annum for an individual policy. If there's no assignment on the policy and it's not a joint or a dual life policy, 
then we need to make sure that we're paying the policy to the right person. So to do that, we may need to get a grant of probate to show who the proper personal representatives are for your policy. Aviva can be informed of death by various channels. That can be from if the policy is assigned from the lender, the assignee. It can be by your broker or your solicitor, a family member or the, your surviving spouse. Once we're notified of the claim, we will stop collecting premiums and we will ask for proof of death. This is generally done by a copy of the death cert and it may be necessary to get a copy of the grant of probate as well to ensure that we're paying the right people. Aviva doesn't make any tax deductions on the lump sum benefit it pays and generally there is no tax implications for those payments but each individual has to ensure their own tax compliance so we would always recommend you speak to your financial advisor or a tax advisor when you receive the lump sum benefit.